and notifications if you don't want to do it don't want to do it you need not to press the bell icon it's very irritating and annoying i never do that you also don't need to do that but uh, make sure you watch my videos till the end not just skip it okay welcome you all to the channel if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe to it because if you're a biotechnology student i think no uh you know you must subscribe to this channel because it will be helpful for you and subscribing costs nothing <laughs> okay and then we have okay uh, so this is the last video in the series where i'll be telling you like how to ace your undergraduate degree even if you're in post graduation it will this video will work fine for you okay so if you are fresher in this field these things like in the last three videos i told you everything that i knew and this is few things that were left and today we will be covering all of that uh, so without any further delay let's start the video so the first thing is internship now you must be thinking what do you want to tell us about internship we know that we have to do internship now actually what happened was when i was in college my teachers did not told me about that okay that uh, you i we knew that we have to do internship in the end right so we were planning okay okay we'll do it in the end and it will be fine but uh, when i went to fri right i met many other students from different colleges and they were from a like, good private universities and their degrees were also very nice i in my very first youtube video i told you about what degrees to choose from right also uh huh. so they were doing you know they told me that from the very first year like uh, from the first semester itself uh, after every holidays like summer or winter holidays they were doing internships and while there was me i was comparing myself right with them that okay you know they have done first in the first semester uh, internship then they have after second semester they have done internship so think if you're doing a degree of 3 or 4 years whatsoever if you are doing internships from the very start so how many internships would you have done already till you come to the end right and there was one, uh, there was me who was doing internship at the very first time and that to in the end of semester so you know and they were doing internships like from various government institutions so it was very you know it helps to increase your cv it gives you more clarity about what you want to do in your life further so this is one thing that you should do start doing internships if you do not want to do internship like you want to go home and you want to enjoy with your friends you know uh, your hometown friends then uh, it's a good thing definitely so what you can do is if you you know make up plan like okay uh, in one year i'll do at least one internship if not you if you are not doing two then at least one that's it so this is my first point do internship from the very first year only all you need is your teachers you know um, you know hod's uh, application and that's all so just in case you are thinking that okay my teachers will be the my teachers will no uh, what if like my teachers will not make a uh, this uh, noc no objection certificate for me and they do this they do that so let me tell you they'll be super happy to give you the application they want students who are like you know ambitious so be ambitious okay so first is complete okay second second one is publication now uh, you know there are when you will start a biotechnology degree you know slowly and slowly you will come to know about research articles okay there are like web, various websites like pubmed it's there science journals are there uh, right so the ncbi so these are few website where you can get you know uh, publications and uh, research articles okay so uh, you can also write one there are two types of paper one is research paper the other one is review paper so research paper is uh, something that you publish when you are the researcher like it's your own research and you know uh, this uh, uh, copyright infringements is something you do need you should never do uh, so what happened is, what ha plagiarism which say na plagiarism should not be there so uh, you can either write a research paper if you are doing research if it's not a research and you got not going to write it right the other one that i uh, spoke about is the review paper 
so at this point of time where you are as a fresher as someone who does not know much you can also write a review paper what you have to do is in review paper you have to take some you, you take a topic and you take some you know uh, different research papers on the same topic and then you combine those topics to make one review paper that you are reviewing others publications and now you'll be thinking uh, what is the benefit of this review paper and etc etc so if in future if you're going to research even if you're not going to research see the first thing is the future is very unpredictable you do not know what what you will do if, if you know that that's that's great and awesome hats off to you but if you do not know it's fine welcome to the league <laughs> okay uh, so publication so what this review paper you know when we will be studying for exams you will also search about like okay this topic for example let's say confocal microscopy you'll search it and then you'll get these review papers also research paper also and then you'll study them and make notes and then you'll score better than others these are the things so you can also write a review paper and you can always take a help of a teacher okay and they will be happy to help you uh, so if you ask me um, I did not uh, knew about that I could write then one teacher came into our life and right came into my life or in a class life so uh, Shilpa ma'am told us to write uh, I, I should uh, mention her <laughs> because uh, you know she deserves to be mentioned here so so Shilpa ma'am came and uh, her name is Dr. Shilpa Tewari okay uh, so she came into our life and then she told us about that we could ha have also written a you know review paper and we didn't even she now tells us to write and we don't because we have lazy people but we are very thankful to mom she was a very nice and kind teacher and then uh, yeah you should write a research I'm sorry review article review paper okay to make a CV stronger than others so the second suggestion for you the second tip was to write review articles or review papers okay uh, this will also give you clarity about what you want to do in the future when you study you will be more knowledgeable than other peers in your class and it will be better for you of course uh, and you can easily get to research and you will be very much benefited okay now third one is our workshops and seminars so various public private universities and also you know uh, these uh, uh, you know what i say firms like these are the online classes wala institution what we call it like app something okay uh, so these uh, there are apps not apps websites rather i would say websites okay websites and college universities they organize their own workshops on different topics and they also provide you certificate okay and some gives you hands-on training workshops some it's like digital only uh, so in some workshops you have to visit in persons person uh, so what you should do is attend as many workshops as you can as per your interest or even if you don't have interest and they are giving you a certificate you must attend it because see you will only get clarity about what you want to do in life and i guess that's the biggest thing out of all money will come do not always you know stick to it okay paisa bachao, paisa bachao. money will come when you invest it into the right thing so workshops are an asset it's not a unless you are attending a flower workshop or something like that like they are also very nice i am completely in favor of them because i also want to attend them but my parents won't let me <laughs> okay. uh, but um, yeah so you should attend workshops that are you know uh, for your subjects also so yeah what was i telling you about workshops right uh, yeah so you should attend workshops uh, that provide you certificates see there's no point in something you know today the world moves on proofs like they want proof for everything and definitely you have to prove yourself why would someone trust you unnecessarily right uh, so the workshops that provide you certificate you must attend them and it would be very beneficial to you and very helpful to you and let's come to the next point or same point but any concept point okay this is seminars okay various seminars are conducted 
similarly by every public private universities and uh, there are some national seminars conducted then there's something like uh, uh, there are national seminars or they're just a college seminar okay uh, you i don't know about college seminar how much you should attend them because uh, they uh, you know uh, in college uh, seminars keep on going but it's not always regarding your subject you leave that okay not i'm not talking about those seminars i'm talking about the seminars that are on your subject so only now uh, i also attended uh, like one national seminar and it was very nice you know when you get into that group right uh, you get to see okay researchers from outside from various places and um, uh, then you uh, come and you know when you see there there when when you go there and see them and you feel like okay we are i'm a part of this research community and you feel really great your confidence boost up to this level and you feel like okay this is the world i want to belong to like it's really magical honest it's very nice you know i want to tell you about something more about national seminar and you can also participate in various like uh, what is that called poster presentation right so uh, in poster presentations uh, various poster presentation take place you present your posters and then you you get to meet the you know researchers also and it's really a nice you know scientific community is a whole different uh, community that you get to experience over there also these uh, how many workshops you attended how many seminars you attended uh, what uh, how many publications are under your name uh, these everything of it like every single publication it counts when you will be doing your phd if you will be pursuing it and also it will always give you an edge over other students of your age group or of your you know level so yes and this i believe because i have attended uh, you know workshops and all of that stuff i was um, i got the chance to Uh, do internship at FRI at the last moment they accepted me so just because my CV was strong I was selected okay and it it was stronger just because of all the workshops seminars I attended and recently I also got a opportunity to publish my uh you know a chapter I have written. along with my co-author uh, my friend surpreet also she was the one who said me okay let's go write this chapter i was also not interested actually i already had a lot of on my plate to do uh, but th- i'm thankful to her she <laughs> said to write and you know uh, rote rote humne wo kaam kar liya <laughs> okay so this was the fourth thing seminars and then uh, you know i just remembered one more thing that i wanted to tell you now i forgot it why i am like this i don't know okay so the last is the neptel courses okay this this website called neptel they also provide you online courses they are free but for uh, certificate you have to give exams and they are like credit courses so it's nice if you do them but i know because uh, i did not did any course sadly I did not got any time, honestly. Okay, so if you have if you have the time, please do it. It would be really really beneficial for you because you then you can do courses from IIT Madras, Bangalore, ISC Bangalore, um, and uh, D- JU JNU sorry <laughs> DU and many other colleges, uh, top level colleges of India. And but you have to attend it. You have to give a send assignment. So sometimes it you know. difficult to balance it's very difficult to balance both of the things because there be long courses and it's actually difficult that's it that was what i wanted to tell you okay so first one internship then was publications then was then was workshop seminars and nectar course and the last one was poster presentation uh poster presentation is also written in cv that in matlab wo bhi cv mein likha jata hai theek hai uh so it is useful and also it gives it builds confidence you early on communication skills and you get to interact with researchers and the judges of course right and everything is very nice and maybe if not today one day you'll surely win so i have presented uh 
three posters sorry three posters and in one poster i got first prize and in the earlier two posters i did not got any prize but i learned you know i learned a lot when i got when i went to the competition right i saw like different posters so beautifully crafted i and when i saw that i was like oh people are so creative and what i'm doing i thought i was very creative but no people are very creative right so you get to know the competition so just break out of your shell and you know look around you the world around you you will learn a lot so that's it for today and if and uh, yeah so that's it for today thank you so much for staying till the end uh, i know these videos are not very you know i catchy to hold your attention but if you are till here i am very much thankful to you by heart from the depth of my heart <laughs> and uh, uh, i hope you find this video very useful this thing is it will not be useful until you are going to use my tips so i would only say please use them it will only benefit you